So I created just 10 questions. Okay, okay. okay. I'll start the first one. I'm looking back at. Oh, ten, okay, you're recording. Yes. Looking back at 10 years when you started your views vision, do you see all of the manifestations that currently has been birthed now? And what did you see then when you started it in 2014? And then what surprises you now? Well, um, what I actually, inter interestingly, I saw women who have become influencers, who have become a voice to work with. I saw women who become a reference point for conversations around women, empowerment, and um, having an opinion. So I saw it. But what, what I would probably say disappointed me is um, the fact that women we started with them say we really have to do because you know when you start something you know we are gonna be here until like we're sixties and we're gonna hand it over, you know. And it just so when life happens, events happen like so but we have new ladies from probably five years ago and they've been amazing and you know anything anything can happen, I can open you tomorrow, you know. So it doesn't have to be the same people that start that ends it, but the idea is that more women who are aligned with the vision are part of the show, and that's the most important thing. Okay. So the um, question, with the media space comes exposure and sometimes uh, of drama in people's personal life. Yeah. How have you, I followed you personally, like I've been mentored yeah. by you for a while. How have you maintained managing an exemplary life? Because for me, one of the reasons why I even chose to follow you, there are a lot of media people, it's just because of your lifestyle. How have you been able to, and what keeps you grounded, to be able to say, you know what, I just want to leave this conservative lifestyle, despite being... Well, the truth is that, we started from like, why? Like, why am I in the industry? Why am I on TV? Why, why am I in the mama couple? Like, it's because I want to be a celebrity. I'm not, it's not because of that. Wait, I, the reason why I'm in this business is because we are constantly providing a platform for women to express themselves, to show that there are options, show that the way we see things is not the only way of doing things, that there are other people that see things from different perspectives. And doesn't mean they're all wrong. They're all different, but they are all right in their own ways. And we can then begin to choose which we believe we align with. So, that's why we're doing this. And if I become known as a result of it, it doesn't change the reason why we're doing this. So it brings me, it keeps me focused on what we are. And that's mm -hmm. why no matter how big I get, I'm reminded of why we're doing this. But right, we just launched your new pigeon last yes. Saturday. And the idea is because we want women to be able to feel they can express themselves as in pigeon English, in regular English, and connect to Nigerians who don't even understand those big grammar. Mm -hmm. I can get it understand the real funny and complex issues of society because that's the mission, that's the vision, that's what we're trying to do. So it's not about being stars, it's about the assignment of ensuring that people understand, people are giving options, people are being orientated, and they understand that life is not just from where they come from, even from different perspectives. It doesn't mean that we're wrong. Well, that makes sense. And it answers the question. The next question is my third question. Your view includes compulsory talking about trendy topics, which we all enjoy, of giving opinions about that. Now, it is possible that there are some personalities that you may have offended, not just you, but ladies have offended, uh, while discussing certain conversations. How do you, um, I don't, the, the question is, have you had situations where a person says, ah, I didn't like this right. discussion on the show? But that happens a lot, and the reason why it happens a lot because what we, tell, what we tell ourselves, what the leaders and I have agreed to is that listen, we all can be on the same page. So, for example, they can say, uh, Flora did this. Mm. And Flora jumped from the top of the building to the ground floor, and we're all condemning it. Somebody must say, I must understand why there was a need for that. Why did she take that decision? Somebody must defend the Flora. There has to be that balance in the conversation. So, sometimes, the recipient of that conversation might not be happy that you guys insulted me. <laughs> but to that, me as a moderator, sometimes, I never like to put the ladies in that situation where they have to now speak against something behind, against their own will. So I, as a moderator, have seen that for. Where even though we're all we're all supposed to condemn this act, as a moderator, I have to look at the other side. Okay, what if this person is doing it this way? What if I have to because that's what makes the conversation interesting and forces people to see things from different perspectives. So. Sometimes it's easy to get one of them to join me. Other times, I'm like, well, you're your own. There's no way I'm going to support the man slapping his wife. Oh, okay, don't forget about it. So, those things happen. I'm where me and I was doing. I have to be the bad person. Yes, I have to be the bad person. So I always have to be careful, but it happens all the time. Okay. 
What's your leadership style for managing couples? I think you already shared a bit of that, but this question has children. Uh, but what's the typical way for managing transitioning of couples, which was mm -hmm. part of the things you started saying at first, but I would just like you to share for those yeah. who are doing things like you to know how, maybe yeah. not to take it personal, or if yeah. you want to share I try, try to be fair. I don't really try to be fair because I was burnt a few years, many years ago, I think we had a lady really said I was in a situation where uh, I was accused of being partial, of being friendly with one person in particular mm -hmm. over the others. And that kind of caused a strain. I never saw the strain. Then I just thought, hey, this one is really nice to me. She calls my house, she goes to me, you know, she picks me up, she does something like that. So I was just close to that naturally, but then realized that that relationship was affecting the other someone, thinking that, okay, everything that this person is your your, your body. And then because of that, you that she's prepared. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. prepared. So, so as a leader, I'm very, very deliberate about not getting overly close to anybody in particular. Be fair, our relationships are equal. Uh, I'm not going to be closer to you than the other person. We're all, we, everybody has the exact same access to me, and we're just going to be very treated. So I'm not doing all these clicks. I don't do clicks. Although they have clicks amongst themselves. The ladies are our most, they are best friends. It's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. I try really hard not to get into that, that, that circle because as a person who kind of put everything together, you must be seen as central, neutral, and moderate in everything like that. Is your view ever going to have new additions? I mean, the, your view, the mother, the mother should. Yeah. Is yes, she ever going to have new additions? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually the person from the southeast. I'm currently the lady from the southeast, and the mm -hmm. other person from the north north. So the two people are looking for something called core north. So we're hoping to have them the next week or so. Okay. Once they do, they will now have a new promo to launch so all of us together. But right now, I'm looking for somebody from the southeast. Okay. The next question How do you manage? fame and having solid relationship in your life, relationships you have had and is it how easy is it to make new relationships, especially when you are already famous and you are known? I don't know, you keep saying I'm famous. Am I, am I famous like that? <laughs> no, ah, I know, I know, I know the way I saw so, uh, when, when people were watching your show. Uh, yeah, so for me, I think that my husband is the, the, the thousand friends, the one, rapping one. So yes, sometimes yes. I feel like I don't even know because he's heavy, he's a GC partner, oh, he's a fashion police, he's like, <laughs> he's heavy, the guy is, the guy is all wrapped up in one, so like, where am I even looking for that? So the truth is that, it's not as if, I mean, I have friends, but I'm not the chummy chummy type, I'm not, I've never been that, because I, I was practically raised in the, I had brothers, they left the, the country when I was like three or four years old, and so I grew up thinking like I'm only child, but I have half sisters here and there, but the truth is that I'm a loner, I like, I love my company. And perfect time to just go upstairs, watch a movie, have a snack. If I'm there for five hours, I am perfectly okay. Wow. You know, so I love my company. So I'm not the making friend types. You know, I like when I have all my friends know I'm loyal. When they mm. need me, they call me, I will get them right will be there. But to be coming to be nursing depression, okay? Let me be ah, yeah, it's not gonna happen, just that I'm there. Yeah. Okay, what has been quite a difficult season for you? Question six. During this vision, I'm talking about you. Okay, what has been a difficult season for you? And was there any time you're like, you know what, I'm going to quit this so that you can tell us a story yeah. if there ever was a time like that? So, I have never thought of quitting your view, but I know that there are times I've been trolled, mm -hmm. been trolled by the public for one thing or the other, something I said on TV or something, my decision I made in my personal life, different things I've been trolled for. So, it has never occurred to me to leave the show because of that, but I just knew that. You know that um, it was a season, and I had a very good support system with the ladies and my husband, family members. So there was that time where the way it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. you know, as I said, my husband is a thousand times in one. He's like, don't burn there, don't burn there, don't burn there. You know, so he's like, you get okay, the idea of food, not really, you know, that that like a white bird. So you stand out, and everybody make you feel less than you are. So he's he's a good friend, and um, I never had any issues. With Okay, how do you manage parenting and work with all that personal interest? Um, parenting is not so difficult because, of course, I have interest, job, busy, stuff like yes. that. Yes. So, but I have a good support system. I have my mother in law, I have my husband, mm -hmm. I have the help in the house. So I have quite a number of people who are around me supporting me in the very So, and my, I know my house is also part of my office. So, in 10 minutes at home, I can rush out to the school market, get stuff, get to the house, you know, so mm -hmm. I've kind of worked it out to make it easier for me, so I think that was good. 
Okay, what results have you seen in the nation and in the lives of people so far that has proven to you that you know what? Hey, then you said to yourself, this vision is really worth it. What are some instances or testimonials or whatever that has been shared yeah. to you? First of all, I think there are more shows like ours. I think that's a huge testimony. <laughs> when we started, there weren't any shows like ours. You know, we, we saw women we were hosting shows, but we're not expressing their own views. We are either just asking questions, but this time around, we have to show that people are actually, women are actually talking, saying things from their own depth of knowledge. So there are more shows like ours, which is good, testimony, I'm grateful that more women across the country are talking in different languages, which is great. Um, I also like the fact that when we do, when we, when we raise issues on the show, you know, government almost replies, almost immediately does something. So we're like, okay, mm. this is the show, you know, we get messages from governors, talking, send us messages. So, it shows that when someone is listening, they are hearing what we're doing. And um, yeah, so I think generally women are more expressive. When I see women sharing their views, even at, even at conferences and seminars, I'm like, okay, women are finding their voice, which I think for me is a huge testimony of something that we've started. And many women are like, okay, I can also talk to my own web, my own corner. So there are a lot of IG lines, a lot of talking, people are having shows across the world, which is great. So more women are not, are not they don't feel like, their voices cannot be heard. They are coming mm -hmm. out and they are talking, and that's, I think, your view I would like to give us part of the credit for that. What dreams and desires do you still have for your view and media generally, your own personal media journey that is yet to be manifested? Of course, the one you can share with us now. Oh, yeah, so for me, I want your view to be in every single language, mm -hmm. as many languages as possible. Mm -hmm. I think in different local TV stations, mm -hmm. uh, women, because the truth is that. Society is not going to change until women have a voice. Women can, you can, you can, women are able to express their thoughts, their emotions, their understanding to each other, and even to the public, to the viewers. So, if we are able to get more women talking, teaching, sharing in their languages to to their communities, I think for me that's my dream. That's my that's the end goal. I always tell them I want to be eighty and five. I just See all sorts of your views showing on TV, younger, younger version, older version, the seniors are talking, you know, you have language, it's just women expressing their views. And that is how we begin to change society, change perspective, you know, mm -hmm. people share good knowledge, transfer information, you know, we be able to preserve our culture and even modify culture when more women are expressive. So that's for me is the end goal. Okay. The final question, very interesting one. If you were not doing your view, talk show, and media, please share three things that you would have been doing conveniently. If you are not doing all of this right now, I'll be a housewife. Okay. I'll be a housewife. Period. <laughs> <laughs> a rich housewife. And then I had, you know, I just, because honestly, I love to just, I love to be pampered. I love to be. Perfect. Left alone to eat, travel, you know, meet people and just do stuff. But you know, we have to work, you know. But you know, I, I just think I'll just be a very good, I'll be a fantastic housewife. Right. I think wow. I'll be the best housewife right. because I'll be such a good housewife that even we'll brand housewife. We'll mm. brand, we'll be our brand housewife. And you want to be a housewife. Be a housewife. Be a housewife. So yeah, I think I'll be a fantastic housewife. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.